You're piece of the gods. I love myself. You feel me? A tune. Every day is another chance, an opportunity. Most definitely. Yahama Yaham Masha. The tomb is a light. Yahama Masha. Yahshua. Elohim. Yahweh. We in the building. You feel me? Any knockies. We out here. Okay. Just got off work. As y'all can see. I'm at my ho I'm at hotel. Motel 6 right now. Just got off work in the early morning. Fuck. It's cold out this bitch, but it's not extremely cold. Like I said, the ancestors with me, the Anunnaki's, they washing over us, the Watchmen's. I see the UFOs, I see the rims. And like I said, it's a battle going on in the cosmos. It's a battle going on in the, in the, in the sky. And the reason why it's, like, it's getting cold and all this crazy shit is because they keep penetrating the ozone layer. Like I keep saying, like they keep penetrating the ozone layer. And when they penetrate the ozone layer, like I said, they making it cold. They can manipulate the weather and all types of crazy shit. But like I'm telling you, this not really. The, I'm not going to be saying too much like that in this video. This is not where the video is mostly basically about. I, I had to get a motel six because I, you know, I gotta get my mind right. I gotta get my mind situated. Normally, I don't really. You know, I'm a digits with it. I'm a digits, you know. On my off days, sometimes I might get a hotel or motel. So whatever you want to call it. But like I said, um, yeah, I just got all work, you know, hustling and shit. You know, making $21 an hour. I can't really complain. But like I said, it's hard, bro. It's tough because, you know, I like it out here. But like I said, um... My job is just out the way. It's out the way. It's like, it just be on some get out shit, bro. It's like, only three buses that, that, that carry me all the way out there to work. And like I said, if and I always got to get to work like extra, extra early. And it's like, if I miss that one bus, I got an Uber to work. And that'd be like a good $30. So it's, it'd be like, man, everything is just... Like, I don't know nobody that work in a closed job. Everybody that work a job, they always 30 minutes, 45 minutes in driving distance. And if they don't got a car, they got to get on metro transportation. And it take them about like an hour and, and 30 minutes and some change just to get to work every day. So it's crazy, bro. It's real live crazy, bro. And I be telling people, if y'all out there going through shit like that, just understand y'all not alone because I'm going through the same situation. You know, you know, oh um, man, I ain't gonna tell y'all exactly where I'm located at. Just know that I'm I'm back on the East Coast. And I took a risk from leaving, you know, DC and going to another area, another state that I don't know nobody yet. Just to get some work just to make money, bro. It's no excuse. If a man don't work, a man don't eat. So all my extra members or whatever, I'm just saying like this, man. Like, you got to work. You got to do something with your life, bro. You can't keep just sitting around, you know, going to library, going to Dunkin' Donuts. You know, that's good. You got, you got some over at Dunkin' Donuts, a gas station, something. So I don't really have to really travel or go anywhere to get nothing to eat. I can just get something to eat right there. Plain and simple. You feel me? But like I said, you know, you know, um, yeah, like, if a man don't work, a man don't eat. And like I keep saying, like, this job just feel like some get out shit. And what I, in the state that I'm at, it's not really no black people out here like that. It's just majority all white people. No offense, I don't have nothing against white people. And every person that look white ain't ain't actually is Caucasian. Cause some people that look Caucasian that look white might be albino. Like a lot of in, albinos all black. They might look white, but they actually are all black. So, you know, it'd be a lot of shit like that, bro. Like, you know, that I be telling people, like, man, it's hard times, bro. And like I said, man, you need to just get out here 
and just get it while you can and figure out shit on your own and isolate yourself away from people. You feel me? Stop being so stuck in the same city or the same state and same area. You got to travel because when you travel, you learn different things. Your surviving techniques, your surviving instincts start kicking in. Everybody got an anim animalistic nature within them. You feel me? You haven't be you haven't um, been in situations where you ain't had food for days and you had to just figure it out. Like you feel me? Like I I've been through them. I've been through the situations, but I ain't been through the situations like that in a un in my unnatural environment. I was like that in my natural environment. I was like that. You know, just living in the jungle, living in the tropics, but food was growing abundantly, so I don't have to worry about anything. But even if I'm, even if I'm in my unnatural environment, but it's nothing. I made a video about it's nothing unnatural. It's not a such thing as something unnatural. It's not a such thing as an unnatural environment and a natural environment. It's not a such thing. It just everything is natural. Everything is set up and designed the way it's supposed to be. The Most High God set everything up and designed the way it's supposed to be. You feel me? Even if Antarctica used to be tropical and now everything frozen turned to ice. The ice is melting. Everything, it's a process. It's a process, but you know, we gotta meditate and we gotta keep putting the, the uh, putting that putting the spells and putting the magic out into your voice into out into the universe of everything's gonna heal itself and repair itself and recover. You gotta just speak everything into existence, but just don't speak it, live it. Live the knowledge, live it, live it. You need wisdom too, the actions, put the actions. Put what you know, your knowledge and your action, put it to work. Put it to work. But the one thing I know about living in situations and cold, or cold weather and shit in wintertime is that you feel more warmer when you're not in a tent. <laughs> Did you ever realize that, like, you feel more warmer when you're not actually in the tent. And it's crazy that I, ne I never really get it. Like, you feel me? You feel more warmer when you're not actually in the tent. For some odd reason. I don't know. Because maybe because the circulation ain't going to flow through there. That could be another... It, that can be something else. It probably is not enough. Uh, I don't know. That's a you know. That's for another video. But like I said, a man gotta do what he gotta do. People sleeping. People like going through situations. Their electricity uh, is burning out out of their house. People going through fl they flooding, natural disasters, and it's cold. And it's winter time now, and everybody got to start living in cars. Everybody got to live in tents. People can't live in their homes. No power, no gas. Everything is flooded. Everything, the power grid got wiped out because natural disasters. Like, I'm telling y'all, if you haven't went through hard times, if you haven't put yourself in situations like that, and, and find a figure out a way how to just adapt to these serious situations you don't know how it would feel when it's time to be in a situation like that you will panic you will panic you will have a panic attack you feel me you will have a, a serious panic attack like you will have a heart attack because you're not training and preparing yourself for different types of circumstances and situations. So I'll be telling people, be, you gotta be real mindful and open-minded and learn how to survive without money because when they take money away from you, what you gonna do? When they shut down the power grid, what you gonna do? When natural disasters come, what you gonna do? Is you prepared, is you trained to have to adapt? Cause it's all about adapting. But like I keep telling people, a lot of people on YouTube talking about they working jobs, they barely paying, paying, um, paying bills, they living check by check. I mean, 
that's just how that shit is, bro. Everything's so high, so expensive. So I be telling people all the time, you gonna have to let certain shit go, bro. That's the only thing you can really do. You gonna have to let shit go. You don't have no other option. Everything's so high, everything's so expensive. Like, like it's people living in, in these motels, in these hotels, because rent is so high. People gotta live in hotels and motels and shit. I, I be doing the same shit, shit, but it sucks that I gotta fucking wait three fucking clock just for this motherfucking shit to, um, just to get in my motherfucking room, dog. Like, I should ask them, can I just get in my room now, or do I gotta actually wait for three o'clock? I don't even know, bro. but I gotta fucking wait for three o'clock and shit. Like, you know. You know, like, I be telling people, man, I don't sugarcoat shit. I tell people what I go through through the hard times and through the tough times and through the times when I'm up and the times when I'm down. I'm showing y'all all this shit. I'm not homeless because I'm self-sufficient and I can survive without money. I'm just working a job, a 21 uh, a job, making $21 an hour. But still, that's still a, it's not enough money to... Put a roof over my head too. I, I need that job and another job. I need multiple incomes just to put a roof over my head. You feel me? So it's like, fuck no, bro. Like, it's still not enough. People think, to, I, I I know people that were, okay, I, I, okay, in a sense, I work for UPS, in a sense. I know people that work for UPS making way more money than me and have to make and have to work another job just to make ends meet. This is hard times we in. It's people that work for UPS have to work double shifts just to make ends meet. Like I'm like I'm be telling people, bro, it's not easy out here. These jobs, you can't survive with these jobs, bro. You cannot survive with these jobs. These jobs was not created for us to survive off of them. You gotta, you gotta become self-sufficient. You gotta be have sovereignty and immunity. You gotta learn how to survive on your own because these jobs, depending on these jobs, bro, ain't gonna get you nowhere. And then the one thing I realized is this, bro, that why do we have to work so much? Why do we have to work so much, bro, just to Keep a woman in our life, bro. You feel me? Why we have to work just to have a woman in our life, bro? Why can't a woman naturally just be in our life? Why we gotta do all this working and shit, putting all these hours in and all this shit just to have a woman in our life, bro? A woman naturally supposed to need a man for survival. But they're actually depending on a man for survival psychologically, but they ain't gonna really tell us that shit. Because, like I said, the ego, the egotistic, they so egotistic to the point they won't even admit that they actually motherfucking, um, fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. They won't even tell the honest truth or even admit the honest truth that, um, they depending on a man for survival. Because they working for another man. They not working for themselves so you understand what i'm saying it's crazy bro i like like you know i'm just so frustrated because it's like i gotta always uber on when i get off work friday on saturday i gotta uber on saturday because the bus that i catch don't run on saturday so that should be pissing me off bro you feel me that shit be pissing me off like a motherfucker. So it's like, that shit be adding up, bro. You know? And I be telling people all the time, man, like, like you got a car, bro, just, you got and you got a place, bro, you got to make a sacrifice between your car and our, and our place. Because if you got a car and a place, bro, you don't have, I know y'all don't be having no money, bro. I do not have be having no money, bro. It's sad. It's people really working jobs, and they don't even be having at least a thousand dollars in their bank account, bro. Because the bills that they be having be so expensive, bro. It'd it be a damn fucking shame, bro. 
Like, it'd be a shame if then women be wanting a person to have cars, to have places and shit and all this type of shit. And goddamn, we just getting up, you know, we just getting up, getting on our feet. We just trying to figure shit out. We just working. Okay, when you work in a nine to five job, you just in the process of figuring shit out in life. You, a nine to five job was not created for a person to be successful. It, it was cool. A nine to five job was created for you to start figuring out what you're trying to do throughout the process of your life. It's just something to do to build you up throughout the process of your life to invest in, to invest into yourself and what you want to do in life as a career, whatever the case may be. It's just a process of a come up. That's what a nine to five job is. But a lot of people said nine to five job is just over broke. It's just over broke. You feel me? Whatever you want to call it, but like I said, bro, this shit is ridiculous. It's cold as a motherfucker out here, bro. And like I said, I'm a soldier. And I've been through the worst. I've been through the worst. But like I said, bro, it'd be people that I'd be saying that it'd be like people be men to be saying, man, it's hard to find a wife. Women be complaining, crying wolf on the internet about how they don't have this, how they don't have that. But you put yourself in that situation, bitch. You wanted to be a single mother. You wanted to be a single woman. You did. You, you you wanted to be a man, and then when the tables turn and the, the universe start taking shit away from you, to humble your ass and show you that you're not a motherfucking man. You're a woman. You're an emotional being, and you don't supposed to be working. You supposed to be being a mother. That's the only thing you're supposed to be doing. You're only supposed to be doing this manly hard label, whatever you want to type shit. Then. You wanna start crying wolf and shit. All that crying wolf shit on that internet. We don't wanna hear that shit, bro. We don't wanna hear that shit. That shit ain't about nothing. That shit ain't about nothing. We don't wanna hear none of that shit, but you know, but like I said, bro, it be motherfuckers like uh what the fuck can I say, man? It it I don't know, man. It's like this world set up so fucking weird, bro. Because it be like certain states that I always want to go to. That I see a lot of beautiful women that it's no work there. It's no fucking work. And I just be like, what is what is all these women like? It, 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 it be like certain states. It be more women than men there. And but states that be more women than men there. It, it be like it don't be no work for some odd reasons. Like it don't be no work. It's like. I'm talking about states where it where there's a lot of black women that like a lot of beautiful black single women that it's like certain them states like that it don't be no work. I'd be like I'd be want to move to them states because people be telling me recommend certain states for me to move to. Like like it was one state I wanted to move to is Alabama. Alabama got some beautiful black women there. You know, beautiful black single women there that, that they said that they would love a black man. I mean, that considered to be down south and shit, but I mean, it is what it is, bro. Like, I'm just being open minded, bro. Like, oh, yeah, I work for UPS. I'm still hustling. I'm still on the ground. Got to do what you got to do. You got to make ends meet. If you got to go out your way and work a job in a whole nother state because there's no work in your city and state that you're living in, you got to do what you got to do. You can't complain about it. You can't keep sleeping in your mother's and father's basement. You can't keep, like, just being in a room all day, complaining, playing the video game all fucking day, chilling on the block, chilling at your home, your home girl. Or your home, or your big homie place, playing video games, whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make it's me. You gotta make some money, bro. You gotta make some form of money. You can't keep begging your father and your mother for shit for the rest of your life. But anyway, though, this video is just a little bit of motivation. I understand what y'all going through. And King, stay strong, man. Stay strong. This is not just for the king. This is from you know the queens too. The gods and goddesses out there too. Like stay strong, man. 
If you out here, you going through the struggle. The struggle is going. Only thing the struggle do is make you strong, man. You just gotta humble yourself and stay strong, stay focused. Everything gonna get. Everything gonna heal itself over time. Peace.